So hello fellow coin collectors, how you going? This is Glenn, and in today's video, well, I've got a two kilogram lot of pennies, and it's roughly about 210, 211 pennies. So how you get that is you divide uh, 2,000 grams, which is two kilograms, by 9.45 grams, and it gives you uh, about 211 and some change left over. So that's how many coins you actually get out of this. And I've actually just sort them by date. So I've got the earliest is 1938. And the latest is 1964. So you can see all 64s. So you've got 60, 61, 62, 63. Look at all the 64s. Hell of a lot of 64s. Here we have the 50s. So we've got the... 1950, 51, and these are all 52s, so I've got three sacks, probably about 40 or 50 coins. And that's weird, because 51 actually had double the amount of coins issued for 52, so obviously this is a sorting by this. And the rest of these are all the other dates, 53 to 59. Then we've got, uh, this first lot is 38 to 30, 41, then I've got 42, 43, 44, quite a lot of coins. Then we have 45 to uh, 47. Then we've got 48, quite a lot of coins there. And 49, not, not that many. But in this video, I think I'll just go through up until 1943 and see what we actually find. But there is a caveat. You're not going to find any major errors in here. You're not going to find any low dates. Although you can probably find low mintages of a certain mint, like 48. Okay, looks like most of these are Melbourne mint. So what we're looking for is a Perth mint. Perth mint should have about a one and a half million, so it shouldn't actually be too common. Uh, but Melbourne mint, if I open the coin catalogue, oh, let's have a look. So Crow's coin catalog is good for when you actually want to get information. Okay, Mel. Oh no, you want Perth Mint, which is one and a half million. And the Melbourne Mint is 26 million. So you want. So let's have a look at that one. What you need to do is look for a dot. Is that Melbourne? Yeah, that's Melbourne, so that's the actual common one you want, Perth. One with the dot after Y. So that's basically what we'll be looking for, and any minor errors. But quite frankly, I just enjoy getting these pennies. I don't know, I think I'm a hoarder, you know? Just get a lot of coins, and just keep them. Because if you look in the background, you've got a hell of a lot of coins. Most of these are sets. So, we've got the Samoan coin set. We've got the Icelandic coin set. We've got the Tanzanian. And a lot of other coins that I'll make videos on in the future. So also got banknotes. I don't have banknotes on this table. Oh yes, I do. I have a lot of banknotes. So these are Vietnamese. Got Sierra Leone, Egypt in there. And those ones are for future videos videos so anyway let me pause the video and we'll organize so anyway let's have a look and see what normal coins we can actually find so this is probably the last time I'm actually gonna do uh, these coin lots because you know I'm not finding anything spectacular but this actually saves you time in actually buying these coin lots. So this actually costs about, I think about $50. But, uh, so the first year we have is 1938. Can you see anything special? Probably VF condition. So if we look at the actual coin book. Okay, I had to pause the video again just to open the book up because it's just so hard. Uh, so, yeah, probably fine VF condition, I would say. 
Uh, and how I actually guess that, or this educated guess, was the amount of hair that I, I can actually see here. So I can still see some hair strands. So I'll place it, this as VF, and also the ear is pretty good. Uh, if this was totally bald, I'll put it in F condition. So F means fine. And also the tail, where how much wears on the tail. The eye, oh, this has some damage on the eye. How much wear is on the eye, and if you can see the nostrils. So they're the points that I actually take into consideration when looking at grade. You, you can take other points like the hands, and the where you can see the actual muscles on the actual kangaroo. Uh, but it's up to you. So this coin actually has a mintage of... 7,804,000 in VF condition has a book value of $8 so current market value probably about $4 so whoa bump the table and the next coin we have is a coin that actually has some bronze disease so you can see it's turning like a whitish color greenish color whitish green don't know I'm a bit colorblind so this one has uh, probably chloride from the salts so you can get salts from your hands from sweat so it's actually eating the actual coin so when you get that you need to keep it away from the other coins which I'm going to do now and uh, I'll try and get rid of it so you can look on the internet on how to get rid of these coins with uh, bronze disease and you can throw it in rubbish so this one's probably in VF condition as well and here's another coin. Ooh, look at that. Green, definitely. Bronze disease. So that's definitely... It is contagious. You can actually transfer it onto another coin by transferring the salts. And look at the hair. I would say it's probably in fine condition. So, that's two coins. And you never know. In the future, you can actually... Uh, Destroy your actually coins. Okay, next one 60, uh, 39, 6, 924, Has the same value as the 38, so in this condition, this one's VF, so probably about $4. Then we have another 39. Uh, wait, I'll probably say, yeah. VF as well, so the same, and here we have 41, so we've got 41s, 41s, uh, from the style, I reckon these are perf mint, so do I have another, should have 41 somewhere, I will go and get some perf mint 41 coins, So I haven't actually put these away. So uh, if we want to know if it's perfume, we need to look at the KG. And on this one, oh, it's a bit hard to see. How about the other coin? Okay. That one looks like it's got dot. K dot G. And here's our, our reference coin. Yeah, K dot G, so yeah. So if we have a look again, I'll oh, shake the table. Bang bang bang. So this coin is actually a perf mint, K dot G. It's called Kruger Grey, and this one doesn't have it, looks like it. Or it might just be too worn. Uh so maybe Melbourne Mint. And if we look at the actual style, maybe maybe they're both perf mint because yeah. So probably VF condition. Uh so perf mint. Perf Mint. So what you need to actually look for is the Melbourne. Melbourne is one and a half million. The Perf has twelve million seven hundred and 
94,000. And for some reason, the Perth men's worth about three times the Melbourne men. That is a bit weird. The K.G is actually, I got a whole heap of them last time. So, but they sit themselves for a lot more. Maybe it's just bias, and they're actually not as common as what I think. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, from the style, I reckon that they perfect. Anyway, so the next coins we want to get, oh, we're going to have a look at uh, 1942. So, 1942, we have the Perth and Bombay, so Indian. Uh, Perth has 12 million, or a bit over 12 million. Indian has uh, 9 million. Once again, the Indian's actually worth a bit more. Uh, and uh, I find that actually a bit strange. So anyway, let's have a look at this coin. And what you need to do is look at the, there's a dot after penny. So you can see the dot shining. So this is perf. Rotate it. This one has a lamination flaw. Uh, where it's actually corroding. This is probably in fine condition. Now, if it was in very good condition, then the ear will be actually be worn. But as you can see, you don't see any detail of the hair. So that's definitely... I put that in fine condition. Okay, another 42... Oh, what am I talking about? These are 42s. So this one's also uh, find the VF condition. Perf. This is in better condition, actually. Have a look. Yeah, see the, see the dot's actually small. And in later coins, they actually increase the size of the dot. So in the 50s, they actually increase the size of the dot. So these are 57s comparison. Make it more distinctive because when the dot's smaller, it can actually wear a lot easier. This one's probably in VF condition, quite nice. This uh, Indian coin, so dot, dot before and after penny. And the kangaroo is definitely totally different, it has more detail in it and more robust. Robust means it looks stronger, looks thicker, solid, and the other. Kangaroos, they look grey soul, so a lot slimmer and not as muscly. So, so these coins, what you need to look for is the eye underneath. Also, any dye cracks, any other problems. So I won't go into the most of the varieties. I do that when I actually do the video on the actual year. So there's another one. Of course, there's another one. VF condition and also the denticles are actually a lot longer so if you compare the denticles of both on the Indian are actually longer than the actual perf mint so 42 let's see fine fine condition and also you can see this one if you put the that one so the date is aligned up looks a bit rotated I find that some of these are rotated so this one's in fine condition and yeah fine condition and the last one and then we have the 43 so here we have the 43 both from Indian as you can see they're the same If we compare the actual, so there's actually three mints here, or no, there should be. There's Melbourne, Perth, and the Indian. So you need to look also for the dot after Y. So you've got Melbourne and Indian there. Uh, that's in crap condition. And here we have a crap condition, probably. In very good condition. Ah, so here's the perf. You can see the dot after penny. 
And if we have a look at the Melbourne again, okay, you can see there's no dot after penny. So for these ones, the Melbourne is 11.1 million. Perth has 33.1 million. Indian has 9 million. And their values are actually all pretty much the same. So what you're actually looking for are coins that are actually errors. So that one looked a bit rotated. Yeah, a little bit rotated. But, you know, they're actually pumping out a lot of coins this year. There's a lot of people coming in and out of Australia because of the war effort. Um, no. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to... Oh, look at that. That's pretty well circulated. Actually, the coin was in circulation for about 26 years. No, oh, not 26, 23 years. 26, that would be 1969. And this one's probably in uh, fine condition. Okay. I actually quite like the Indian coins. Gives out the character of the kangaroo, even though it looks more artificial. So this one's in VF condition. And, and it has a book value of $6, so probably about 2 to $3 if you're going to buy it. So uh, how I actually work out that. Oh, there's a perf one. Looks like that's been cleaned. You can see it's shiny, but it actually has a lot of damage, so it's well worn. And that's how you know it's actually been cleaned. And... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, actually. So anyway, oh, here you go. Is that lamination? Yeah, that actually looks like lamination, just by the way it's actually shaped. And... It looks like the design actually goes over it. So. Yeah, and that probably gives it, like, a few dollars value. So... In this one, you can see it looks like post mint damage. It's definitely down there as well. If you look on the back, yeah, you can see it's coming through the other side. Definitely post mint damage. Anyway, so that's the end of this hunt. Next time we'll do the rest of the 40s. And anyway, I hope this helps you with uh, your any coin collection have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you for watching and goodbye